this one, drop char, drops a specific char from a string. So if we pass in this string butterfly with all of these spaces, um, what's the song? What's that 90s song that has butterfly as a key, key lyric? It's like, you're my butterfly, sugar, baby, something like that. You know that one? Okay, never mind. No. Nope. Okay. Sheltered childhood. You're sheltered. <laughs> uh, so we're going to return. I mean, you can expect what would happen here. We're going to get this same string back, but with none of the spaces. So we have a couple examples here. Um, I thought they should be uh, fitting. Well, anyway, you can kind of guess what it would be like. Uh, here's the example. We have butterfly with a sp one space in there. We're removing all spaces. We get back butterfly. And this was an, this one is an error uh, because the thing that we passed in is doesn't exist in there, right? So cool. How do you think you would solve this? Interesting. We, so we haven't done any string ones, you and I. Um, we haven't done any string ones, so I'm I'm thinking maybe we can uh, maybe we can map over a string just like we can map over an array here. Uh, yes. Do you know how? You want me to show you? T C is the one worth. Doing. I'll show so you. Let's you do... I can give you the low, low and dirty basics. Nope. Well, maybe that would work. No, I don't See. think you can do it with objects. You would, you would like get key of. Let me show you. Yeah, Let me just show you how to get started. I'll give you the, I'll give you the, the foremost hint. So you can say T extends, and then you can put two things in here. Yep. Uh, there. Did I write type it wrong? So you can put two things in there, and it's gonna say like infer left. Oops was one character off infer left and infer right so this Ooh. this will be uh so let's do this so just as a way of having a like a, a scratch pad um equals uh drop char zero oh uh this should just be drop char. Sorry about that. Um, and then we'll pass in like ASDF and drop A. Oops. So we can look here, hover over it, and see yeah. what it uh, evaluates to. What is this? Oh, oh, right. Um, <laughs> the You can't access from an infer statement. You can't access the things you infer from the false line. So I guess this yeah. should be like never or something like that. But here we can see what it actually returns. So right now, drop char is a kind of a bad thing to call this. Let's just say S. So it's going to return um, the first string. The, the first thing, yeah, independent. We haven't actually, actually even so used let's C yet. See if C, if C, if left extends C, let's never, we want to drop it. That's left. Mm -hmm. right, perhaps. So let me show you one more trick, because this 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 is this oh, early this, one. It should be right. I'm I'm gonna can I can I interrupt? Yep. I'll Go show ahead. you one more trick. If you do this, what it's gonna do is infer the for a single character. Yeah, as as much as it can. Yeah. Yeah, and then your your match, and then it'll give you the rest on the right. Fascinating. So, so we can get rid of this whole thing here. Yep, yep, yep. I got it for you. And get rid of infer. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And if nothing Looks else... Like we still if, have a couple things here. Right. So so what we're seeing there is it, ref it this one passes because there's only one space this one passes because there's only one there's only one exclamation point mm -hmm. but when we have multiples it doesn't pass so we need to recurse in some yeah exactly we have to recurse in some way boom you did it we passed them all so let's look at what you did recursion for the win recursion for the win uh so we inferred that first character that's how the that's how this syntax works in TypeScript. So there's nothing special here. It's just how it works. It takes the first character. Then you'll grab the thing that matches and everything else to the right of it, whether or not that contains the matching string. So when we do that, we're gonna pass, uh, we're gonna succeed into this drop char recursion, and we're gonna pass in the the left, which is the thing that we want, and the right. So we're basically like these two things are the same, this one and this one on line 27 and 28. 
except that they're kind of losing the C. It's just now, omitting the C. Yeah, it's just omitting it. Now, we need to pass in that C because the next time it recurses, like it goes around the loop, we want to make sure it still has it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, huh? So let me show you some more different ways to solve this. So there is a there is a variant of this solution. Um, let's call let's call this one drop char zero. Um, so there is a there is a variant of this solution that's pretty much the same. It's just that it's like how you want to think about it because like you don't really need to mm. pass that left one to drop char because um, we cleaned out the left we already. already. Cleaned it. Yeah, exactly. We already did it, so we don't need to do it twice. I actually kind of like this example better. Um, they're not so different. Um, there's another one here that I think is kind of kind of lulzy um, for for the lulls. Uh, <laughs> we're seeing if if s extends c. So like, does it start with c? Um, infer infer r, which is like a middle character in c. So we're like going through all of these cases. Is it is it wrapping some match case? Is it an, in the front? Is it in the back? Or are there things in between, like A and B in between? And it's uh -huh. it's going through all of those different possibilities and looping them through. It's kind of nice in a way that you can see what the person was thinking about the different ways that C could could exist. But um, you can do it with recursion. I mean, this is using recursion too, but you can do it with recursion just going character by character instead of having to match all this stuff. Um, I'd be curious to see what the compiler performance looks like for this one. Right. So um, notice that in all of our examples, C extends string, but I thought this one was interesting because it this manages to pass without making C extend string. And what's interesting is in the in the tests, it shows us. Uh, so let's let's do this. So we got to get rid of these other ones. Uh, drop char one. Okay. So it does pass in the tests. Um, there's this guy though. And this guy is showing us, like, if we uh, let's let's get rid of that. Um, this is a this is like a TypeScript error that will happen from. So if you look up two fifty nine, oh, I don't want to go back, but uh, let's 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 take these out of the running here. Um, it wasn't that one. Then it was this one. There is a TypeScript error that happens that tells mm -hmm. you type instantiation is excessively deep and possibly infinite. So that's the downside of this one that that uh, you did naturally, Rob. And the second one that we chose doesn't have doesn't have that error that comes up. Uh, but anyway, we'll just jump go a little faster, jumping down to this one. This drop char, uh, we got to rename them all. Doesn't matter. This drop drop char one has a kind of a clever thing that it does, which is that if s doesn't extend some kind of string, it'll just return an empty string, which is a fancy way to go about that problem. To coerce it, yeah. Yeah, to coerce it. The last one I'll show you is this one. Um, we can just look at this one on the screen. So it's doing that same thing. It's saying it also doesn't have a constraint. And this is saying, does LC extend CL? And it's wrapping L and C and C and L in like a tuple. So this is sort of like a, a quality check, I suppose you could say. It's a comparison, yeah. yeah make sure these are both the same. It's doing, yeah, it's doing that to make sure that they're the same. Uh, or to assert whether or not they're the same. If it is, it returns nothing, so we're like dropping the character. But if not, it returns L. So I thought that was a really clever way to solve the problem. Um, this also just passes in drop char with rest and C like we did in the second example up above. But this is just another interesting way to solve the problem. You don't see something a use case for something like this a lot, but this is a good trick to have in your toolbox. Cool. Any other thoughts on this one? It's kind of dangerous and irresponsible string manipulation. Must have stopped. <laughs> it is. Uh, it is a little bit. It, it it is a little bit dicey sometimes. But cool.